The Milivato's 911 call released, assistant begs no sirens please as paramedics rush to scene. The 911 call made from Demi Lovato's house has been released. In audio obtained by TMZ on Thursday, the 25-year-old singer's assistant alerts the male dispatcher of the incident while requesting him to tell paramedics to shut off the sirens. You are with the patient now? The dispatcher inquires before the assistant calmly responds, I was, I'm downstairs. There are other people went in, adding, we just need to get somebody out here. Soon after, he tells her, you should be hearing the sirens real soon. However, the pop star's assistant did not want the sounds of the ambulance to be heard. Wait, no sirens please, right? She asks as the dispatcher says, no no, this is a medical emergency. I don't have control over that, this is definitely a medical emergency and we need to get there as fast as possible. Later in the 911 call. A male caller tells the dispatcher, we heard the sirens. The windy street getting up here. The Los Angeles Fire Department did not immediately respond to people's request for comment. Thursday marks Lovato's second day in the hospital as she continues recovering from her apparent overdose for which she was rushed to the hospital on Tuesday morning following the incident at her Hollywood Hills home. The singer's publicist released a statement Tuesday evening confirming Lovato is awake and with her family who want to express thanks to everyone for the love, prayers and support. Though reports have indicated the overdose was heroin-related, a source close to Lovato previously told People that it was not. She is doing okay, but is still being monitored, a source told People on Thursday, adding that it is now safe for Lovato to leave the hospital if she is so inclined. An overdose is something very serious and can cause organ failure. It's important for her to make sure her body is recovering, the source said. The Disney Channel alum has battled addiction, mental illness and disordered eating for years. In 2010, she entered treatment, where she received professional assistance for bipolar disorder, bulimia, self-harm and addiction. She relapsed after she left the treatment center, then entered a sober living facility for a year. In March, Levada revealed she celebrated six years of sobriety, but three months later, in June, she released a new song, Sober, on which she revealed that she had relapsed. Now